Recently, Bamboo Lab released one of the most requested features in the Bamboo Studio, and almost nobody noticed. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. Bamboo Lab is one of, if not the best, 3D printing companies when it comes to listening to their users. Not only do they listen to the things we ask for, the things we like, we dislike, all of that stuff, but they act on it so fast. So today I was in Bamboo Slicer checking on one of the prints on a printer, and I noticed a couple of new features. One of those features is to go live. I love the idea of streaming my 3D printer straight from the slicer with no additional cameras needed. So today let's walk through the steps to get that set up and in the end I'm going to tell you what I'm going to use it for. With Bamboo Studio open, go to the device tab. From there, click on the camera settings button and you'll see an option to go live. Now set your video to 1080 if it's not already to give you better resolution and then click that go live button. If this is the first time you've clicked that go live button, it will probably give you this error right here and you'll have to install the virtual camera tools. After you get that installed, go back to the camera settings and click that go live button again. You'll notice when you do that, there's a link on the bottom of that little settings menu that allows you to click it and go straight to the instructions. If you'd like to follow along with those instructions while we go through the video, go ahead and click that link now. Also, after you click the go live link, you'll notice this little camera over here and it goes red when you're live. Now what we need to do is jump into OBS and set up the stream. Regular OBS will work, but I prefer Streamlabs OBS and you will need one of those versions installed before we proceed here. There are a ton of videos on YouTube showing how to install this and how to configure it. Uh, it is super easy and it's free to use Streamlabs OBS as well. I'll put a link in the description if you want to use Streamlabs OBS. Any of the OBSs will work. OBSs, I, I think that's how you say it, OBSs, I guess. So you'll need those installed. I'm not gonna go over that installation in this video. So once you're in OBS and it's open, you'll need to add a scene. Click the little plus sign here to add the scene and give it whatever name you want. I'm gonna call mine Bamboo Lab Video. Next, we need to add a media source to our scene to show the camera. Click the little add button and choose media file right here. Then click add source and give it a name. I'm going to use Bamboo Lab printers. Then click OK when you're done. Real quick, if you're getting value from today's video, please smash that like button. If you want to see more 3D printing, lasers, and CNC content, please consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. It really is gonna help me this year in my goal to hit 100,000 subscribers. Now back to it. Now go back to Bamboo Studio. Click the little arrow drop down in the top left and then click help. From there you wanna click show configuration folder and this opens the configuration folder we need to make the camera work. Now that you're in the folder, click the camera tools folder. And then in the top in the bar here, you wanna highlight and copy that whole path. Then jump back into OBS media setup Click the checkbox for local file, and then paste the path into the input field. On the very end of that path, you want to add a forward slash and then ffmpeg.sdp, shown on the screen now, to the end of your path, so your whole path is complete. Now scroll down to the ffmpeg options box and enter the following text. You can get it either from the instruction page or I'll have it in the description below. If you've done it correctly, in a few seconds, the printer will show up in the preview screen at the top. From there, you just click the close button and you're done configuring the video. If you don't see your printer here, but you see the Bamboo logo stuff, then all you have to do is jump back into Bamboo Studio and click that go live button one more time and make sure the little camera is red so you're live. If you jump back into OBS now, you should see your printer live on the screen. So at this point in the video, you're probably saying to yourself, hey, that's a cool feature, but what can I use it for? Well, you can use it for a ton of things. You can go live on YouTube or Facebook or any social media platform that requires a webcam. But what I'm most excited for is going live on MakerDeck and sharing my printers with the world. If you haven't heard of MakerDeck, it's a channel that runs 24 seven on Twitch and it shows nothing but cool stuff being made. That could be 3D printers printing, which it most commonly is, or someone sitting in sewing or painting or modeling, whatever you wanna do. 
Before today, to be on Maker Deck, I had to set up another camera in front of my Bamboo Lab printer and then plug it into the computer and load into StreamYard, but none of that has to happen anymore. Now, because we set this up in OBS, all I have to use is the built-in virtual webcam to push my camera straight into StreamYard, which Maker Deck uses to stream. It's so easy. Let me show you how to set up that virtual webcam now. Open OBS back up and click the little gear that's on the bottom of the left side of the screen. Then you wanna scroll down and click the virtual webcam button. You'll wanna install the virtual webcam, so click the button here. Once it's installed, click start virtual webcam and it'll show you that it's running. Now click done. Quick heads up if you're thinking about jumping on Maker Deck, Use the link below to jump in and register and get accepted before you go any further because you have to do that first. But once you're registered, all you have to do is follow their instructions and they'll get you in the stream. Now when you're ready to enter StreamYard, all you have to do is go to the settings, click the camera button on the left side, and make sure it's set to Streamlabs Desktop Virtual Webcam. Then click the X to back out of the settings and click Start Camera. You should see your printer show up and if you're printing something, you should see that printing now. Just enter your name and a headline if you want to, and you're ready to stream on StreamYard. If it's Maker Deck, they'll add you into the rotation, and that's it, your printer's streaming all over the world now. The really cool thing about using the virtual webcam in OBS is that you should be able to use it with any of the softwares that allow you to use a webcam. That could be Zoom or Skype or StreamYard like we showed here. Any of those, all you have to do is make sure you're using that StreamYard virtual webcam and it will show your printer. And of course, like I said earlier, you can use OBS to go live on your favorite social media platforms, whether that's YouTube or TikTok or Twitter or whatever you wanna go live in, you should be able to use OBS to bring your printer into those as well. I really do think this is a very powerful feature that Bamboo Lab has put in the Bamboo Studio. And I believe they're gonna keep expanding it as well. The only downfall that I see right now is that you're only allowed to use one printer at a time to stream into your streams. If you click another printer, it'll actually pop up an error and it'll tell you that you have to switch the camera to that printer and then go live to be able to use it. I'm hoping they figure this out in the future so I could actually stream all of my Bamboo Lab printers all on one screen. That would be super cool and I think it would be a really fun feature for more people as well. It would actually allow me to see all my printers on one screen at one time if I'm monitoring them or something like that. But let me know in the comments below if you would use this, if you're gonna use this or what you would use it for. Also, don't forget to check out Maker Deck. Again, there's a link in the description below. And if you haven't done maintenance on your Bamboo Lab printers, I highly suggest you check this video out right here.